Hello, I would introduce myself, but this is not how I'm going to begin my vlog. So I will do another introductory when I look slightly more human. And apparently this is just what happens to my hair. My goodness. So the trajectory of my day has changed because I'm very tired and it's a long day. <laughs> I mean, just haven't been feeling great this week. But then Margaret, my dear, my dear, lovely Margaret, um, messaged me and was like, so we're on for seven on Kenzie's channel, right? And I was like, crap. I haven't even started the Red Pyramid, and unlike the other books that I've all read that when I didn't read them in time or had just begun them, I could go, yeah, I can talk about them and go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do it because I haven't read this book before. So, yeah, I'm going to take a shower, tell myself that I can actually be awake, and, um, make this train wreck of a day a better day. It's gonna happen. I can do this, Kira. Hello and welcome, my dear, dear children. Yes, uh, so it's October 9th. I have done pretty much no reading whatsoever in October. I have not finished a book. I am partway through Howl's Moving Castle, which I need to finish. I just was not into it. I wasn't into anything, um, but the expiring in the next two days, so I really want to finish the last, like, three hours or whatever it is. I'm also about halfway through uh, Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan, which is the first in the Crane Chronicles. I was supposed to have this done by uh, Saturday because it was a live show, and yeah, I thankfully slept through the beginning of that live show and I'm still only halfway through the book because talent is just abounding. I have not read any of my Victoria reads. I am partway through End of the Island in which was the only part of a book I've read this month in which I've just like smiled so much and I've been meaning to like read parts of it every day. Have I read parts of it every day? Have I read like any days? No. So I'm going to be trying to remedy that. I, it's Canadian Thanksgiving it's Thanksgiving. I'm just ashamed that I said Canadian Thanksgiving. Anyways, it's, it's Thanksgiving, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The holiday, I think, is Monday. I'm celebrating it on Saturday with a bunch of friends, and I'm hosting it. I like hosting Thanksgiving for the people that do not go back to their family. I live far from my family, so I always love having friends around me for Thanksgiving, and I'm very excited, but I'm doing a lot of the cooking, and I'm hosting, so I'm getting my house and food all ready this week. So I don't know how much I'm going to be doing it. If I was a good person, I would actually be listening to audiobooks when I'm doing that. But I'm just not in the mood and I don't understand why and it's frustrating. But I'm going to be trying to film some videos that will hopefully remind me of why I love reading so much. So I will check in when relevant and hopefully this will be a better reading vlog than sometimes. Hello, it is October 10th and I'm reading Rebel. I'm going to try to do this without actually spoiling anything, so good luck to me. Pretty much I really love the beginning of this because I think it's so strong and I think that it's set 10 years past the original series and it really shows the time gap and beginning with a boy who's quite little at the beginning and how he's changed and developed and it really talks about all the things that he loves and how he loves and yearns to understand things. His mother used to call him an alchemist, someone who could bring rust and make it gold. And yet no one will know him for that because they're preoccupied with who his brother is. And this part kind of sums this up with no spoilers, so I'm going to read it. Over the years, I've let this become the version of myself that everyone knows. Eden, the little brother. Not Eden, the tinkler or the inventor. They don't know how I'm drawn to understand things or how I've had nightmares almost every night since the Republic's war ended. No, my identity is permanently tied to my brothers, regardless of what I do or think. And I think that is something that people can relate to, whether they've, you know, been in a part of blank, 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 that spoiler or not. But I just, I think that it has a lot of humanity and understanding, and it shows the age of the series, which I think is really important as well. Hello. I am Kier. I think I've already introduced myself, but let's do it again. It's been a while. It is the 13th. I should have probably thought about that. I have had a ton of stress. Like, I am just, like, stressed talking to the camera. I haven't read anything in almost a month. It's just not been good. I've just, like, general anxiety is not going away. And, yeah, it's so fun. So I'm going to try to just do some, like, sitting down and just reading and trying to focus and, you know, have a little bit of good old escapism. I am in bits of, like, the first little bit of a bunch of books. I read a bit of Ninth House. The first chapter slash, like, prologue thing is really, really good. But I'm a little farther in Rebel. And, yeah, I've also, like, like, a week ago I started the beginning of Dark Dawn. Also really great. I just, I don't know at this point, like, 
I think that's a weird thing that happens to me a lot. Like when I'm like stressed or like anxious or whatever, like I don't really want to partake in like really dark stuff. Like I tried watching Gotham and I was like, ah, oh, this is kind of interesting. And then I'm also like watching like How I Met Your Mother. Like, like I'm like, is like being happy feels like false because I don't feel very happy. I just feel anxious. But like I don't really want to like see depressing things either so i'm just caught between it i'm really caught between reading rebel which is definitely more like you know it has emotional it has heart it has you know depth to it but it is much more like fun than reading something like ninth house which is like adult occult kind of like it begins with like describing like blood on the carpet and like murder so yeah i don't know what i need to do to vent my feelings but i don't know if anyone has this like me but I am hopefully going to read. I'm listening to some Carlene. She does, like, really good um, songs based on, like, historical people and, like, I don't think book people. Beth Crowley, though, book, her music is extraordinary, but I don't think I'm, like, in the moment to have, like, music that's, like, emotional. <laughs> Just slightly a mess. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys later. Hello, I'm Kira the Scrivener, and today I am going to be doing a reading vlog. So I made a promise that I was going to be doing Victober, which I have not read any classics. I've only finished a few books in all of October, and they've all been in the last, like, three or four days, because I've just been dealing with a lot of mental health, and it just has not been a great month for me, and I just want to acknowledge that and to, like, recognize that, like, it's really okay to have reading slumps, it's really okay to not read because of situations in your life, or even if, like, life is fine, like, I want to be transparent about that. However, I did start a book club with some real life friends as well as Christine from the other Christine that reads and I have to do it on Tuesday and it is Friday night the 18th so I gotta get some reading done and our book is A Tale of Two Cities. I picked this because I wanted to specifically read it because it's Victober and I've never read it before and it's one of the Dickens books that I've just wanted to read forever and I just haven't gone around it. I know that it's in the French Revolution and that's all I pretty much know. I think it's tragic. It's probably tragic. I'll probably like it. So I'm going to listen to some really depressing music. I just like have the mood. A lot of Dean Lewis, a lot of other really depressing music and I have reading socks, and it's gonna be great, and hopefully I'm gonna read for like three or four hours, and I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. <laughs> okay, the first chapter was really, really brilliant. I'm really more tired than I realized. You and me not realizing how tired you are until you sit down and start reading, and then you're like, man, I got like three hours sleep last night, and I have a really busy day tomorrow, so I'm probably not gonna read for three hours. What were you thinking here? Yeah but you're gonna have a great day of reading tomorrow, she says. <laughs> Hello, so I just finished my first video that I filmed in a really long time. I haven't posted in over two weeks, so that's a little sad, and I'm just glad I talked about invisible disabilities. It's not the kind of scripted version of the version I wanted to do to go into more detail and be detailed and organized and explain a lot, but I just ended up ranting and chatting a little bit, but at the end I'm kind of sad and kind of disappointed, but I think that it will hopefully express the things that I'm trying to say. I'm always nervous whenever I do personal videos. Normally they turn out fine, but I'm still nervous. Um, for reading, I finished The Eye of the World, which is the first in The Wheel of Time, and I started The Great Hunt. I think that I probably listened to it a little bit too fast and it didn't process it. I listened to it in pretty much all 24 hours, and it was really good. I think the world building was really immersive. The wisdom and that whole idea, I really, really liked that. I've also, halfway through the Dream Thieves, put on hold so that I could get through the beginning of the Wheel of Time because it was really long and I didn't have them out from the library as much because of complications. Da 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 da. Anyways, I didn't finish A Tale of Two Cities. I should be reading that. I'm feeling less motivated to read them now because I'm also, it's not a library book and I have several library books, for instance, Rebel that I'm part way through, Ninth House, Dark Dawn, all of these that I have to return, so I'm slightly more anxious, but my hand is slipping out of these. I'm just kind of rambling and it's late at night to be honest because I'm in too much pain to walk and the annoying thing about contacts is they're in my eyes so I can't fall asleep with them. I can't eat even though I'm super super hungry and only had like squash, like a thing of squash yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to be honest about my disability. So I really want to film a better disability thing where I go into more detail and be more explanation and stuff. I just always find like it goes long on the justification because I always feel like 
people won't necessarily believe that I'm sick, so I have to explain why I'm sick and how I'm sick, and I don't know, I feel like I need to let go of these metaphors. I feel like this vlog is just me being sick and anxious and stressed, and that's pretty much been my October, so it's pretty representative. <laughs> Anyways, I will hopefully check in with you with more reading and more thoughts, not on myself, but on writing next time.